Hi, so as I mentioned before in my other video that I had to adjust these cable ties so that it faces this way and it does not rub against the rail and also uh, as you can see that the cable ties are a little bit too close to the pulley so the garage door is open all the way up and um, I, what I should have done was cut the cable about two three inches away from the chain instead of being so far down near the pulley um, luckily I got a little bit lucky here as you can see the it, it's right close to the pulley I, I put some masking tape uh, not not to hold the cable together but just to uh, you know not have it fraying um, but as you can see that is the length of the rail and uh, the original was 10 foot rail and we cut it about six inches um, but keep that in mind those two things to not cut it too close to the pulley cut it closer to the chain and also uh, to have the cable ties facing that way as seen in this video uh, so here I'm just uh, giving you a look at you know the amount you can adjust so you can adjust the two three inches uh, so you don't have to be quite as exact as you need to be so we cut the chain somewhere around here in the middle here removing about six inches of chain and uh, left about uh, an inch and a half in from behind so as you can see there's a bunch of wires the safety goes into the back as well as the uh, programming of the travel so you need to stick your fingers up there so make sure you leave enough room for that now this was something we didn't know in, in, in the old garage door there was no laser so this there's two safety mechanisms on these where there's a laser so uh, I looked on the internet and what happened is um, uh, the laser didn't fit along those rails so I, I read that a bunch of people just put it up in the rafters so as long as the laser points to each other the uh, garage door will be uh, operational um, however if without the lasers the garage doors do not operate so that that was a frustrating aspect is that is not optional which is why we we also stuffed it uh, up in the rafters there as long as there's a connection between the uh, lasers that's fine so as you can see there was no place for us to put it and there's actually two safeties in these garage door openers once is when it detects, detects any type of pressure it'll just reverse the other one is if the laser beam is cut in half the door is not operational so there's already two safeties there um, and so it's it's not that because we put it in it's unsafe uh, but that's really it and that's all I want to show and thank you for watching